right? So you will need to come here and talk to Coca, and you are going to suggest him the Drago Cherokee resources. After that, you will suggest him to take some plants of the area as well as some Koalak resources. Now, take a look at this. With the first quest of the Polar Race, which is the Drago Cherokee resources, you will get 451,000 experience and 11,000 camas, as well as some potions, including the recoil potions, which are really, really helpful. You can see here some other stuff that, well, anyways. The second one will be Delicatessen. He will grant you some api and some candy, as well as the same amount of experience and camas. But the best part is gonna be load the mule. Look at this. 6,000 camas on bread and you'll get more experience with this one as you can see 520,000 points of experience and 17.8 thousand camas as well as some recall potions bone tap potions and some bragmar potions so this is i would say the best one around here i mean the amount of money for this level is absolutely fantastic so the total of camas will be 39,830 and the total experience will be 1,422,514 this will be just the quest camas and the quest experience we are not talking about the resources you're getting because if you consider those ones you will be closer to 61,000 camas and a lot of experience considering that you will need to kill a lot of monsters with good challenges hey what's up guys this is Goldberg once more how you doing I'm happy and I want to give special thanks today to surf ninja which is one of my first subscribers as well as Jazzy because he's always commenting some stuff and I can't forget about Helio Hello Ellie, how you doing man? All the people here, Washington Iron Man, which is a YouTube content creator as well. He's always here. Dempster, how are you, my friend? And finally, Chosen477. Now, I know that I have a lot more subscribers, but these are the ones that are more active in the comments. So if you want me to say hello, well, just just give some appreciation in the comments or ask any kind of question so with no further saying let's go with this special video all right guys so here we are with the first dragon turkey to kill is gonna be the ginger dragon turkey and you will get these perfect wings in total you will need three of the ginger three of the admin and some other resources so as you can see here, sometimes you will get them, but some other times you will not. It depends on your perspective. So, yeah. Then we need to kill 10 feverish because you will get the dragon turkey tooth from them. It's pretty easy, right? Then you will need to kill some almond as well. And I want to insist on this one. It's super difficult to get these wings after the idols patch as you can see here um gonsal just dropped the most because he is chance based so he has a lot of perspective but anyways then you will need to start killing the coalax and one of them is going to be the immature coalax to drop that special resource another one will be the forester coalax to get the irritating forester hairs now we can't forget about the brown coalac because we will need to get some hairs from him as well in total you will need to get two hairs of each of these coalacs now a quick tip over here is to place the resources on a bar so you can see your progress now after doing that, this is going to be the most difficult one with the Mama Koalak and you will only need to get one resource from this particular monster. As you can see, I didn't have one but three Mama Koalaks in this combat and I got just one bone with just 
one character. So challenges are really important. Now here I took advantage of the situation and I bought some resources because I thought about entering to the college dungeon and I thought I could do it. I thought I I could beat him. So I don't know. Maybe <laughs> maybe I will be able to beat him. We will never know. Or maybe you will know. <laughs> so here at the fourth or fifth room, don't forget to kill one of these gobbles because you will get the achievement. As you will see here, now I am trying to kill the college. Coolidge. I don't know his name. I think it's Coolidge. But the first attempt was a failure because I was trying to get the achievements and the challenges. So then I realized that I didn't really need to do that because I just wanted the spell that you get in this dungeon. You will see that in no time. So my strategy was to keep the enemies as far as I could focusing on keeping away the Coolidge because this monster is a little bit complicated due to the reason that if he gets you in line he will transform you into one of these gobbles the ones with the colors and you will have no AP just MPs but no APs so you will need to try to stay away from him and if you can't stay away from him at least try not to be in line with him because you will be useless to the combat now I want to mention that I was trying to do the third achievement which was the special one of this dungeon but I didn't really realize that I was trying to do it and well you need to pay attention to this one because in order to get it you can't be transformed into this gobble now as you can see here I was trying to get as many traps as I could and as many dis as much distance sorry as I could from the Coolidge until I killed all the monsters if you want to do this dungeon at low level because remember uh, I'm below 90 you will need to try to keep him away from you and just try to hit him in the distance it was a challenge because my characters are mid range low range low range to mid range actually but if you go with the crowd or something quite like that it's gonna be a lot easier now, the Fogger Nut was super helpful here. And here is the mistake I committed. As you can see, the SRAM was transformed into that gobble. But anyways, I could kill him. And that's really what I wanted. Now, when you finish this combat, you will need to talk to this person over here. It's an old guy. It, it seems like he's an alchemist or something. His name is... Ozhar and you will give him 50 flowers and 50 plants of Calyptus and he will provide you with the mount taming spell which is gonna be super helpful because you can now capture dragon turkeys after doing that I just got the resources that I needed and I talked back to Koka the Kolak and I got an achievement that you can only get once of course and a lot of camas now let's go with Sophokia because in Sophokia we also have a lot of daily quests starting with Ferdy Magellan he is going to ask you to kill some jellies so you will take the, the quest and you will go to the jelly peninsula and you will start killing jellies now killing jellies is really good because you can also drop the jellies itself and this concentrated jelly juice for the quest is 100% drop rate so you don't need to worry about challenges or stuff like that. Now when you got the 10 concentrated juices you will only need to take the sap back and talk to him again and that's an easy 8,210 camas plus 200,000 points of experience 
I do this every single day because I really like killing delis and I'm leveling up hunter so well I think you can do it too now to get the other quests you will need to follow this path if you need to see him again just go back a little bit it's pretty easy you just need to go to this place over here I'm gonna show you the coordinates whenever I got there just one more over here so now you will talk to this person right here the commander Costa and you can notice that you will get this exclamation sign in blue color that means that you can take a quest every single day it'll give you some camas it's not so important but well I recommend you to take this up over here the Sufoken shoreline because it's in my opinion the fastest way to get to the monsters you need to kill most of these quests are dropping certain resources or killing certain monsters in this case you will need to kill some bandits and as you as soon as you kill them you will get the reward you don't need to talk to him again I'm showing you the reward in the screen then you will need to come here in Sifokia again this is like the marketplace or something you will need to talk to Jack Jake comps it's like you know the singer so you talk to him and he will give you two quests now you can I mean take just one but I'm trying to get as many quests as I can because I don't know if you knew this but every single quest in the game counts for this achievement of doing um, I think it's 1000 quests I'm running just below 200 right now so I'm trying to get the 200 for now so one of them is gonna be to kill some scarlet leaves you will need to drop these eggs they have really really high prospecting rate so it's like um, yeah, pretty easy and the second one is gonna be to get some pearls at the shoreline this is like the worst one because it just gives you like 2000 camas but anyways you take the sap again and you will find these shells all over the place you'll find between two and three every single map and sometimes you will get a pearl as you can see on the screen I got two pearls over here but some other times you might not be so lucky and you will get some salt instead because those shells could be empty so it's gonna be a pain because you need 10 of those but anyways then you go and kill the scarlet leaves that's super easy if you kill five you'll get the five eggs with a good challenge and good perspective not a big deal it just took me a couple of minutes then you talk to him once more and you will get the reward it's gonna be in total like 6,000 or 7,000 camas and some experience now let's see is it really worth it I don't know think about it so if we do the math with the Draga Turkey and Koalax we got almost 40,000 camas now with all Sufokia quests we got 21,000 camas which is a total of 60,000 camas now we're talking about low level camas so this is good and this is for every single character talking about experience you get almost 2 million experience which is really good but if you ask me I would say that well some of them are not worth it but some of them are worth it I would do the Koalax ones and the jellies ones but not the rest and this was Galbraith I will see you in the next one